Brett Heinzman here on behalf of the GC23 Operations Committee to talk today about the registration process. We're so glad that you're considering registering and joining us for GC23 and so the purpose of this video is to tell you what to expect in the registration process so you can have all of the pertinent information together when you go to register your individual self, family, or group. There are six easy steps in the registration process and you will get there by going to gc23.org register and clicking on the button in the register screen. When you see that registration button, click it and you'll be taken to the registration process. It will start right at the first step. The first step has three components. First is demographic information, name, address, those kind of things, just so we know how to reach you. Second is the attendee type. Looking through the list, examine each one and check whether you're a general attendee, whether you're an exhibitor, whether you work for the World Ministry Center or Free Methodist World Missions, or the other options on the screen. Be sure that you check the appropriate option for you. Now you say, what if there are more members in my family? Well, hang on because we're going to get to that in another step and we're going to cover how you register multiple members of your family as we go through the process. For now, let's focus on you. The third one is family registration. It does want to know, are you registering a nuclear family? So let's say there's mom, dad, and three kids. That's five members in your family. You would check the four or more option instead of the three or less option. When you check four or more, you're going to be registering at the price of four, which is a family rate for families greater than four. So once you're done with your demographic information, your attendee type, and the appropriate choice for your family, next click continue. Step two will ask you for your phone number. When you've entered that, click continue. The next step will be to choose the type of focus group you want to attend. Now, there are five different focus groups that will happen on the four days of General Conference, each based on the values of the Free Methodist Way. There's a video that you can watch fully explaining how the focus groups work, but for now you can click the More Info icon to the right-hand side of your options so that you can read about what the focus group is. Choose one out of the five that you will attend and stay with for the entire week. Once you've selected that, scroll down and the next will be your hotel nights. Choose and click the option button for each and every hotel night you will stay. For instance, if you are coming in on time to check in on Tuesday and you are attending Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, then you would check those nights Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday if you're checking out on Saturday. When you have chosen all of the appropriate hotel nights and your focus group options, then you will click continue to go to the fourth step. In this one, you will clarify and confirm your check-in and check-out dates. So again, if you are arriving on Tuesday, your check-in date will be Tuesday. And if you are staying through Friday night's worship service, you're likely checking out on Saturday and traveling on Saturday. So when you've decided, based on your hotel nights, what your check-in and check-out dates are, confirm those by selecting the dates. Finally, there's an option there from the hotel what your bed preference is. Do you want a king bed or two queen beds? It's first come, first served, but choose your preference should it be available for you. Once you've chosen that preference, you will click continue and go to step five. Here's where you can add more people to your family or your group. For your family, we need to know each and every person by name that will be attending with you at General Conference, whether they will be a fully paid registrant that attends the events or not. So for children that are attending all the children's programs or for adults that are attending not just the worship services, but the general sessions, the plenary sessions, delegates, employees of the World Ministry Center, etc., you have to, we need every person registered so you will choose add another person unless you are registering as an individual. If you're registering as an individual, hang on for a moment, we'll get to the final step. But if you're choosing to add another person, click add another person and it will take you back to step one where you will begin the process for that other person. Now it will assume if you're adding another person that they are staying in the hotel room with you so you will not choose hotel options, you will only choose for that. So if you're doing multiple people in a group but they're all staying in different hotel rooms, in, in register them individually, not together as a group. If the group is staying in a hotel room together, register them in groups that stay in the hotel room together or in families that stay in a hotel room together. 
When you have completed all the steps for all of the members of your family and you get to the end of step five, it'll say when done, click continue, which you will do, which takes you to the sixth and final step, which is payment. When you have completed the payment screen, you will see that there are two options there for you to pay. One is to pay the balance in full at the time you register, or two is to choose a payment plan where a percentage will be charged at the beginning and you will see the installment payments figured out for you and the dates that those installment payments are due leading up to general conference. Choose full payment or payment plan and pay with your credit card or debit card online. When you have completed the step six of payment, you are done registering. Now, what happens if you need to change your plans? Well, guess what? You can create a login with a password and you will be emailed a link where you can go back to the screen and you can go back in anytime. In fact, you can go back to gc23.org slash register, click the link to register, and when you're at the screen, scroll down to the bottom and choose the option that says already registered. Click here to modify your details. You can click that link, you can log in, and you can add, edit and modify the details of your registration, which you will want to do likely here and there along the process until registration fully closes as we grow closer to the event. That's it for registration. We hope the process is simple for you. Hope this video was a help. If you have any questions, email gc23 at fmcusa.org or call the World Ministry Center at 317-244-3660. We're glad to help you in any way, shape, or form to get you registered for GC23. We can't wait to see you there as we talk about igniting a spirit-fueled movement. God bless you and thank you for registering for General Conference.